Hey friends, as a forewarning, the game Orwell contains strong language. That means that this content isn't appropriate for kids. Please go watch one of my other Let's Plays instead. Now, for the rest of you, on to the show! Greetings fellow humans, my name is Flailbot, and this is going to be Let's Try Orwell. Orwell is, to the best of my knowledge, a game in the vein of Papers, Please, where you are playing a near-future member of a government surveillance operation, and your job is to identify threats to the to the state and other people, and um, and just be a helpful person in general. So we're going to um, we're going to be super super friendly and helpful, and uh, I don't know what kind of I can't capitalize this B here. All right. I'm not sure what kind of playthrough we're going to do. I'm considering just going through and trying to make moderately, morally reasonable choices. Um, but maybe I'll play up the... Um, maybe I'll play up the... Right, sure, optional. Oh, oh dear. Okay. I can't read and talk at the same time. Maybe I'll play up the like blind faith in the system kind of thing, and, and we'll see how it all works out. So, please agree to the following terms. Be diligent. Your work has severe impact. Steps to rope three. Good. I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. I agree to the terms stated above. Boom. Setting up profile. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Your registration is now complete. Alright. So this is the demo, which is just like the first episode. It's supposed to be an episodic kind of thing. Freedom Plaza. And you can buy all the episodes for like 15 bucks or something. I guess no record does not mean, like, incognito person, more like, no crimes. Oh, this fisheye lens is <laughs> causing me some troubles. I don't know what to say yet. Guess I'm just pretty good at ruining the moment. Episode 1, the clocks were striking 13. You're online, good. Hi, Symes. Call me Symes. I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and last line of defense against terrorism. Okay, generally, I want to say that you want to have more than one line and not have one line be both. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances. Selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So, let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is to store bookmarks on the websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our lead newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Uh, good. Reader. Headlines. National Beholder. Cool. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the Profiler. Open the Unknown Person file once you're done. Okay. Fast, honest, precise. Singular. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Bond. 
Explosion towards the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three killed, five severely injured. Authorities received strange letter. Negotiations in Trifliff failed. Trifliff Pargesian? Pargesian? Pargesian president aborts negotiations with opposition. Violent riots in Trifliff. Blaine encourages renewal. A hundred gray shadows. So many shades of shadows. All right, let's read about this bombing. 7:50 p.m. on Wednesday evening, explosion device. Oh my gosh, this game is gonna be so much reading. I'm excited, but I'm just not feeling like that's gonna be the best for my beloved viewers. According to official police reports, three people were killed and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Experts believe that the attack was an attack act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports also confirmed that several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gedanken sind frei, The Thoughts Are Free, had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert until the perpetrators had been brought to justice. Okie dokie. Any deal with this? Negotiations. Riots. Capital City. No negotiations. More demo. Oh, okay. Negotiations cancelled means demonstrations happened and bad things occurred. Okay. Oh, and Par. Parg. Pargesia is our neighboring country. So. Good, that's great. Unknown person, let's do this thing. Data first, we don't know. The profiler holds all unknown information we have to investigate the file you have opened is for our main suspect, the blue haired woman on that the CCTV footage shows before they sold is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Um I guess that's under the reader. Uh-huh, okay. What is the red star? Is that the highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that we should be able to extract and call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will leave the re reveal the relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop. All data chunks are probably blah, 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 blah. Okay. What does the star mean? Stuff to read still? Oh, I bet that's because I didn't read the movie shooting. Someone finished the thing. It is being edited. It's almost done. It's been postponed. It is great. Oh no, the Hollywood power couple Betty Yvonne and Michael McDeal have broken up. They were getting out of control. Whoa, that sounds terrible. Mmm, rhubarb delicious. Okay, great. So that means, yeah, no more, no more red stars. Cassandra Watergate. Scandalous. Arrest date, 10 July. Assault on a police officer, Duncan Lloyd. Okay, report. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The processors at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. Okay, that was her name that we can copy. Um... Okay, so after Franklin is struck, and then protest was removed, and the suspect was crying on the ground. That doesn't sound super suspicious, but okay. Well, let's take her name. Ah, okay, I just drag it over there. This cannot be undone, so I guess I better not screw it up. And her name... Grand, Cassandra Watergate. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for well to identify a person. That makes sense. Information documents can only become a data chunk when they can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Mrs. Water Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We will need some verbal to progress. Bloop. So where does that go in? Ah, okay. Into background. Good, with the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? Yes. 
Okay, Symes, we disagree. I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer, and you will see what I mean. Is it Freedom Plaza? Physique, we don't know anything. Can I... Oh, it just points up to where it is. Okay. Bloop. Bloop. Previous message for some... Oh, multiple pictures. Okay. So, we got assault on a police officer already, and we opened up a new record. Is this woman a terrorist? Ah, okay. So, again, from the newspaper. Woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago remains in custody. That... But she was just getting on the bus. Trial scheduled for August. Cassandra W., simple protester or anti-governmental terrorist? The case that keeps the media and the public guessing. Cassandra W., pictured above, who had allegedly injured a police officer severely two weeks ago, is still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. Well, that's terrible news. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration against the newest amendments to the government's model project, the Safety Bill. Cool. Artist by profession. Right. Do the Cassandra W., who is an artist, has denied the accusation completely and asked her fans to show their support. Okay, do signs I'm reading. Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance. This guy is not being as objective in his judgments as I think he could be. It's good that you think ahead, but let's focus on the current objective first. I have held back a new document for you. I'll grant you access once you're done. Okay. Denied accusations, support, blah blah blah. The case received nationwide attention when Catherine Delacroix, Secretary of Security, labeled the alleged perpetrator alongside the other rioters as, quote, anti government terrorists. Anti governmental terrorists. Yoink. So, what is this like? Coincidences? Is that gonna be. Where it's. Oh, okay, it just adds it to the background. Exact same location as the assault. Did you insurance with their rival for the explosion? Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Great, you found another document. Yay, go me! Before we go on, let's clarify our job. How to affect some lives, shall we? You have extracted all the information I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may have disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Okay, it's cool, so if you find something you don't believe, you can at least temporarily disable it so it doesn't uh, cause problems. Portfolio. Harboring. <laughs> Outstanding art. Hey, can I? Yeah. More pictures. Boom. She look different? She's got like a broader chin here. Yeah. Hi, I'm Cassie, a colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. Glad you found me. I don't... What does that mean? What is this? What category does that fall under? Address. That's not an address. Finally found the courage to quit my dull day job and focus on my art career. So, definitely an artist, right? That's gonna... Da -da -da. Well, I guess that's background, because she quit her job and focused on art. Cool. Interesting. We should find out what job that was. Yes, we should. Thank you, Signs. Blah, blah. Portfolio. Handpick selection. My latest works. I can browse through them with the arrows left and right. See something like? Why, of course you do. Leave a message on my Utel account, the Cassie92, and tell me which beats you'd like. I'm going to make a fine art print. Ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing, free of charge. That's kind of suspicious. Now off you go, have fun. So what does this count as contacts, I guess? Do, do, do. Yes. Boop. You're welcome. 
Good, you found a chat handle that will allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. The listener has now been unlocked. Any conversation will appear whenever they are started. Fancy. Um, kitties. The businessman's forgotten daughter, a victim of traditionalism in pain castle. Although, you know what? Who knows if that's accurate or if it's just a falsification in a relationship. People share so many things online these days. Let's open up this chat. Unknown person. Hey you. Hey, I know who that person is. That's Josie. Can I... Craft another profile. Bloop. Uh, you got me, Sherlock. I'm in the middle of buying all of Bond and Eve that platinum card that I took from your desk. Stole credit card from a known person. Can't stop me now. But luckily for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Wine. What does Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney and all-around badass, have in mind this time? Probs just a business call from one of his favorite clients. Uh, yes, I have her selected. You now have a profile for a lazy person again. Okay, okay, okay. Data chunks will only be for targeted persons and can only be extracted through relevant profiles. So I have to select him and then, ah, okay. Can I do things like take his name? Oh, his name's already there. And his, that's good. Do, 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 wrong profile. He has a credit card? All right, let's see, where were we? Da, 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 da. Very serious business, Cassandra. I thought as much. Guess I better pick up shitloads of wine. Oh no, I don't want to curse. You'll have to get this client of yours pretty buzz to handle all that business. One bottle should be fine, she's a lightweight. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills from my big pharma, aka my parents, then. Um, bloop, bloop. Yeah, sold. Oh, come on, I was only teasing. Watergate, pharma, our prefers to ask ring a bell. Up, oh, yeah, gotta go. XO, XO. Alright. I would like if we could access a little bit more. No picture, no date of birth. Uncertain about relationship. Didn't we assign her a relationship though? Just in a relationship, because it's a picture from my bug bug or whatever she said. Okay. Procedure closes raising manipulation suspicions. Watergate pharmaceuticals. Oh man, oh man, this is intense. There's so much stuff going on. <laughs> All right. We enrich lives. Methadone blue. Mood elevating medication. Whoa. Okay. They make a bunch of a bunch of medicine. We're going to skip around. Name Watergate has been inseparable from progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research for more than 80 years. Bruno Watergate. The CEO of Watergate Pharmaceuticals is Bruno, grandson of Edgar. Edgar. Mr. Watergate of uh, Central Pharmacy Congress and head of the charity foundation Children of Parges. Parge. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Sandra Watergate, Jr. COO. Hey, wait a second. So, okay, soon be joining the executive ranks. She's not. Yeah, that's totally give her another profile picture. Always a good idea. See? I was vaguely suspicious as well. Maybe. Maybe. What's this gonna say? Whoa. 
create profiles. This all seems reasonable. Boom. So here's my thought process. Maybe someone replaced Cassandra Watergate with this other person, and Cassandra Watergate, the real one, got shoved to the side, and she hates things now, or something, and so she's blown up a freedom memorial. Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time, as events unfold, the reader will notify you when that happens. The National Boulder just published a new article, you may want to take a look, see if there's any new information. Okie dokie dealio. I'm gonna hold off on this, because she said she quit her job. We can email people. We are currently, haha, -ha, look at that. So she's not actually a COO, because they are looking for a COO. Uh, I can't, uh, bu -bu 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 company. Yes, disable. Haha, -ha. I am master surveyor. Jobs. Let's do this. You gotta be good at lots of stuff. You got to be competitive salary. Oh, and then these are okay. The other jobs are research internship, and that's it. Okay, ba -ba -ba, back to the reader. Headlines. No. Primary conditions drop. No. Okay. Bloop. Ministry of Security has printed the latest numbers on crime statistics. There never before have been so few violent crimes. That's great news. Delacroix gave a press conference early this morning. The safety bill. Thursday morning. Statistics report. Recorded criminal offenses. Recorded criminal offenses decreased by 5% percentage points or 5% relative in comparison to last year. Probably 5% relative. Crime rates remain continuously declining over the past several years as a direct result of the implementation of the safety bill. Allegedly. Allegedly. Good, good, good. The safety bill. The party elected the government. Safety bill. Crimes. I'm not seeing a super high correlation, but okay. My word. We give them food. We are friendly to Farge. is intense. Our five killer pillars for a great nation. Safety, security, economy, and commerce. I don't call it e-commerce. I guess it's just e-commerce then. Values of tradition, migration, and foreign affairs. Not capitalized. That bothers me. Education and health. Good. You guys have some opinions about things. That's awesome. Robert Blaine. PM. I, I, I just don't feel like this is all going to be relevant yet. I think I should go back. Ooh, don't, don't eat. <laughs> Join the army of the nation. All right. Okay. Procedure closes, raising suspicions. Uh, good. August 10th, 2016. Wait, isn't the date like, oh, what does this button do? What have I done? Cool. That is kind of what I wanted. That's like eight months ago though because if today is no neato Bloop. okay find the reason why the investigation against Cassandra was closed find information on the previous job oh, okay maybe I should go and tell go to the COO thing here's the uh, jobs company Re-enable. What is this going to say? Can I not? <sighs> Great. Someone's going to be like, that's wrong. And I'm going to be like, oh no. Okay. Super. Formally. Super. Yes, Symes, I agree. That is what she meant about quitting her job. The fact that she's no longer working at her job. So this means there's something else that I've just blocked out. Because that is a ridiculous 
description of an address. Endless Wonderland is actually like a place, like a store or a, or a club or something. Okay, procedure closing raises manipulation suspicions. suspicions. <sighs> Orwell informs me you have just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, these will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I highly recommend you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. Okay, reading time. <laughs> Investigation into the malicious injury of a police officer has been draft dropped due to lack of evidence. Speculated that the accused parents manipulated the trial. The suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley. Hey, whoa, 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 Joseph Langley. G get, give me your face. Dang it. Whatever. Fine. Could I have stolen their faces too? I know, I know. Hold on. Um, Kumpan. Can I steal Alice Watergate's face? I guess not. Interesting. Oh well. Uh, let's go back to Cassandra. Bonten. The case that has been at the center of media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra W. was acquitted of the alleged assault against a police officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday. However, the case might be reopened should new evidence be discovered. The suspect lawyer, Joseph Langley, pictured above, welcomed this outcome. At no point has there ever been any valid evidence that my client was guilty. At no point at all. The your defense attorney commented during a post-trial desk press gathering. The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question, which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused oh, might have influenced the outcome in her favor. There is another conflict. Parents resolved to illegal means to close the target person's criminal case. The victim and father was rushed in the hospital, is still in induced coma, unresponsive treatment. That is sad. Criminal case closed lack of evidence, criminal case due to interference. Okay, well we have to, I guess, decide? Do we know when she quit? I wonder if she quit, um... Could we? What? Ah, wait, is there a date on this post? Um, blue, blue, blue. Random guy. Find the curves. Welcome to the. There's no date here, though. Unfortunately, pictures are disappointing. Because if there was, then we could say. Do a sort of a d timeline here. Right, because she's got the job, she quits it at some point, starts the thing, and she has the trial. We just don't know in what order those things happened. We know that the trial happened in, or at least the closure was on the 10th of August last year. And, you know what, I'm just going to take her address for funsies. Because it's going to be a learning experience. And Times is going to be like, that's stupid. There you go, see? <laughs> People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass on something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? Got to be more, more careful. Yeah, okay. Like, so I guess we just have to decide? I mean, I, I feel... Wait, she was arrested on the 10th of July? Oh, for assaulting the police officer. And then in... What happened in August again? Dang it. Oh, in August, the thing was over. That's speedy. Can we talk to... So they're dating. I mean, that's not really stealing. Yosef Langley. Hey, Yossi. 
fine. It's not stealing though. Nope, not gonna upload it. So what what is this? This just happened April 13th and she's still in touch with her parents, right? Mm, sort of. He's asking, why don't you tell us about dating? And she says she's gonna go talk to them. So I'm gonna say, based on this totally spurious evidence that they in fact did interfere especially well I mean they're dating I don't know maybe she appreciated that Blah. since we already know who our parents are we will undergo an immediate investigation radical change Let's find out what happened between these two lives of hers. What may have caused this radical shift? Um, woo, cool. Can I also, yeah, yet another picture. Cassandra Watergate, pop artist and free thinker. Hey, birthday. Hey, interest. We could have inferred 92 from her username, but that's, that's okay. Art, music, activism, what a lineup. My cat Kikiko, okay. That's the targets, must be a band. March 1st, 2017, 11 a.m. We were first in freedom within the shackles of Watergate Pharma. Curses. Okay. So she quit well after. No, that's good. She quit well after the, the trial. So this implies that she was still at Watergate Pharmaceutical and her parents very likely could have interfered. Alright, so fuck all you government lackeys. On January 29th at 7.45pm, despise puppets of the state, you have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There's nothing left to do but congratulate you. These are my personal wishes from the deepest abyss of my heart. Most painfully, Cassandra. Mary Bluch. Sweetie, what's the matter? Tilda doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung up for ages, but you gotta get up from time to time and feel much better. Mary, just shut your freaking mouth, okay? This will click with one own. <laughs> That's kinda cute. It will conflict, but we don't know it. Uh, I'm not in the mood for you. Act. Not again. Yes, this is accurate. We know that that's true. I feel like we could have inferred that from the from the conversation. Um. Okay, so they were besties, were besties, and now they're broken up. They've broken up. This is so sad. Five a.m. Posting stuff at crazy times, 5 a.m. Okay. <laughs> Older Ashley Bottle may have been frequently themed. Surprise, surprise. They had to mention speculations over my parents buying me out. Makes the click counts go boom. I don't remember that website. At least we're redeemed now. Wanna blow off steam together with a little na late night shopping tour? Not today, I have a date this evening, August 10th. Okay, so this is three months later, in reverse chronological order. She probably has a date with her thing, case closed, congratulations. Kitty, you're my heroine. <laughs> Thousand cams on the plaza, but no proof. We've shown the world this dirty chalet's machinery only exists to intimidate and give us little people and believe in false promises. Camps for safety, one big lie. Matt Harrison, yes, I will totally write an article on our blog. Tonight. Oh, I guess I already have it. Okay. Data submitted. That concert was amazing. So this is July, August, January. Man, that's like four months. 
sleep spree. Everyone's excited. She got a makeover. Oh, okay. Hey, that's important. That's like the day of the makeover thing. Oh my gosh, what happened to beautiful hair? Oh, OMG. Why did you ask me? Cassie's gone punk. I also need a new name. What about Casarthus? That's clever, me likey. Casarthus. That's the spirit. Friday. That's the protest. Yoink. An alias name. An alias name. You know people on the web. Oh, those web people. So many names, so many identities. It's always good to record every alias. Then we can match data chunks to target persons when we are using them. I invite you to a little activist group. That seems good. Invited to activist group by Harrison McDonald. An activist group? Is there anything more specific? I mean, yes, it's the protest at the Freedom Plaza, so one would assume that that's the same people. Hot new band of targets. Punks. They're not just some punks. The lead singer is a real cutie and has a cool guitarist girl. Plus, they've got a message. Ooh la la, oui oui non. Amazing shopper to my merry best friend of all times. Heart. This is gonna conflict. No, it's not conflict. It's gonna conflict. Okay. But this is early. This is April 2016, and this is. January. So, Mary, I hate you now. How sad. Yes, Symes. We're not here to get involved. We're here to find out the truth. I feel like Symes is just not, not on the ball here. Alright, let's find one more piece of wacky exciting evidence and then we're gonna call it an episode hey did you hear about the freedom plaza bombing yeah don't remind me you know i have a history with that place already fucking me up enough that i have to catch a bus from there every day too many bad memories and now i was there just moments before this happened ugh i never should have gone to that damn protest darling you don't need to justify yourself to anybody especially not me Catch the bus at Freedom Plaza every day. I was happy when Goldfels accepted me into thought. That would be the pause, pause live feed. <laughs> um, can I scroll up and then it pauses the live feed? It does. Neat. Okay. Another group called Thought. That's where we want to go. Group on worst of the cause. Goldfells. Yoink. This seems like a good idea. But they laid a document found. An activist group called Thought. Interesting. Maybe this is what influenced her. And who is Goldfells? We should find something that shows her current attitude and see if we're following the right person. Maybe later in this conversation. Think of it this way. If you would not have gone to the protest and let everyone wrongfully get indicted and then we would have never met. Yeah, and it would not have been called a terrorist in the paper. I'm not a terrorist, okay? Ain't I? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ka-ching! So that's supposed to be my credit card cash register, or something like that. I hope you like uh, Chateau Margot. Great. Decided to bankrupt me. Yes, sir. Blah, blah, blah. There's an appointment. Oh, she got quite angry, which is, seems reasonable given that they were planning on, you know, having a date in their previous conversation. Metherin. Do, 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 drugs. Metherin blue. Mood elevation. Antidepressant. Yoink. Ugh, I just, I just literally looked it up, Symes. Can you not Google things? I mean, future Google? Whoa, okay, slow down here. If I don't show up to this appointment, I risk losing a very important client. Fine, don't understand. Oh no, I totally understand. Don't risk losing that very important client of yours. Cass, don't be like this. 
guess I'm just not an important client anymore. Oh, come on. Going home now in case I am getting up on that priority list of yours anytime soon. Please. Okay. Bloop, bloop, bloop. 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 You're welcome, Symes. I wonder if her adverse attitude towards the assault is actually worth anything to them. Perhaps emotions are high if she's reliant on this medication. Okay, okay. Uh, so this has been part one. We're going to investigate further tomorrow, and uh, it's it's going to be amazing. So far, so good. Cassandra is... Well, we'll just see. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.